we're in a drought out where the deer lease is. We're not hearing a lot of times in the afternoon. They're gobbling a little bit around seven o'clock. Occasionally you can get one to kind of shot gobble back to you. So I threw the crazy Jake decoys and a hen out at about four yards in front of me in the shade, which is, in my opinion, what a turkey wants to do this, you know, in these conditions. And this Tom, you know, man, he kind of come over the rise, was easing around that way. And the next thing I knew, he'd spotted them Jakes and he's on us. And when I say on us, he's in our lap. I can't move. He's attacking the decoy. He's pissed at the decoy. He's looking at the beard. He's looking at the fan. He's pecking on Every time that sucker pecks me, I jump about four feet. I'm sure you can see it on the GoPro. He hits those decoys like four times. I'm not, you know, three steps from him. And when he hits him, it scares me to death. I'm just sitting here and I can't, there's no way I'm gonna make a move to shoot this bird. He come in so fast, my shotgun's aimed this way. He's attacking the decoys. He's strutting in that decoy. He's doing everything. All I can do is sit there. I know it's not an hour, but it feels like an hour at this point. And I mean, this Tom is just putting on a show. He's pecking the decoys. He's going from one to the other. He is just puffed up. He's mad. He's making some sounds I'd really never heard. And he, I mean, it's like he's growling at him. He's so mad. So I'm just waiting and I'm hoping he's going to move to the left or go way to the right and g give me a shot. Well, he goes around the tree and it wasn't long until he went around that tree. I said, we got fried turkey and we got a great story. <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> we sit here a couple of times around here. We tried to sneak in here one morning. We had them gobbling all around us. We had a good encounter with a bunch of jakes. That one was a two-year-old bird that had come through and I saw him coming around there and he kind of slid in. He saw the crazy Jakes and I mean, I knew what was going to happen. I mean, he was checking them out, beating on them, pecking on them, going around, circling, showing them he was the boss. And he finally lost interest and got around on the backside of that tree. And when he raised his head, I wasn't giving him any more time. <laughs> that was too awesome right there. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I love the entire experience about turkey hunting. For me, I can have just as much fun talking to the hens. I don't care if I'm the one that gets them or somebody else gets them. It's just such a great experience for me sitting out here listening to them. Sometimes you don't hear anything. Sometimes you hear a bunch of them gobbling. Sometimes they come stupidly. Sometimes you sit and nothing happens. Sometimes you get a great show like that. I mean those crazy jakes they're a big full body decoy you can put a motor in them they come with a fan i actually used a you know real fan for today with the way the wind's blowing get some extra movement in them that was the sealer on this hunt i mean once he saw those two he kept posturing from one to the other he jumped on them and then finally he went around the back side of this and that was it and he raised his head up for me i couldn't take it any longer <laughs> so cool I guess if I was summarizing turkey hunting, I love this time of the year. I'm always torn between the spawn of bass fishing and the excitement there and setting in when I'm out turkey hunting. But when I get out in the field and they're gobbling and they want to talk to my calls and they put on that show and they open that fan and they wiggle that head around and they're strutting and the hens are cackling and everybody's happy and talking. I can do that all day long. Yep, when they're not doing that, it's kind of like watching paint dry, not gonna lie. But when they are talking and they're giving you that show and they're communicating with you, even if you mess it up, you had an encounter. Man, that's that's like hooking a big old bass. That's like taking a big fan. That's gonna be eating that fried turkey when you're done. The springtime love affairs that I have with fishing and turkey hunting, 
gosh, I can't wait to do it again and again and again and again. And they may have to bury me in my casket here in 15, 20 years with a turkey call, a turkey fan, and a fishing rod, and I'd be pretty happy.